A couple days ago, my friend shared this picture in a group chat, and he was curious. Did the bridge support more or less weight when the boat was on it? Now me, as someone who thinks he knows something about physics, was pretty quick to answer, but answered incorrectly. Of course it does, I said, thinking of the common misconception that somehow floating objects don't add extra weight to things because the water somehow supports them. Now, the thinking was correct, but the answer was dead wrong. How about we start with the correct thinking that led me to the wrong answer? Suppose you weigh a bucket of water and place a floating object on top. Does the floating object add extra weight to the bucket? Well, some people might say no, but the answer is yes. And the reason why they might say no is because they're forgetting about Newton's third law. While the water does support the floating object, there's an equal and opposite force in the other direction. And this equal and opposite force goes down, down, down through the water and eventually hits the scale and causes it to weigh more. But there's an easier way to think about this. When the floating object is placed in the water, you'll note that the water level will rise, right? And so you have more water height. And you'll notice you get deeper, deeper, deeper down into water, there's more and more pressure in the water. So what you're doing at the bottom of the bucket, when you increase the water level, is you're also increasing the pressure at the bottom. And because force is equal to pressure times area, there's more pressure at the bottom, so you get more force pushing down on the scale, and that's why the bucket weighs more when you have a floating object placed in it. Sure enough, I set up a little experiment myself. I weighed a bucket of water, I weighed the floating object, and then I weighed them together. And I found that the weight did increase when you put the floating object in it. So why does this not apply to the bridge situation? You would think, okay, the same thing would happen. The water level would increase, the pressure would increase on the bottom, and you get more force on the bridge. Well, here's the thing. Unlike the bucket, where the water level can rise, the bridge is probably connected to canals on both sides. So the water, instead of going upwards, actually gets displaced to the left and right. And so you don't see that increase in pressure of water at the bottom of the bridge, and thus you don't get that increase in force. Now, there is actually a really simple experiment to test this as well. You can fill up a bucket of water to the brim and place an object in it, and when that object gets placed in it, instead of the water level rising, the water will be displaced out the side of the bucket, sort of like the water moving to the side of the bridge and you can weigh the bucket before and after the object was placed in. And sure enough, I did this and I found that the weight was exactly the same. Now in reality, the boat isn't placed on the bridge where you would see the water rise and an increase in pressure. The boat is probably placed somewhere far away from the bridge in a canal loaded in. And then you would see the waves go up. You'd see an increase of local pressure in that area and the waves would move out but they would slowly diffuse. And so when you're really far away from that place where the boat was loaded, there would be very little waves on the bridge. And so the bridge would see no increase in pressure. Now let's talk about the point where the boat actually approaches the bridge and comes on the bridge. What exactly is happening there? Well, as the boat moves forward, right? Conservation of momentum says that the water has to be displaced backwards. And now I made a very specific claim. I said that the bridge always feels the same weight. In other words, when the boat comes on, the amount of water that's sent off the bridge is equal to the weight of the boat. In other words, you're just trading water for the boat. Now this can be proved with Archimedes principle. You'll note that the weight downward on the boat from gravity is equal to the mass of the boat times gravity. And the weight upwards from Archimedes principle is equal to the mass of the displaced fluid times gravity. Now, because the boat isn't accelerating upwards or downwards, the sum of the forces is equal to zero. So the mass of the displaced fluid, the displaced fluid being sent off the bridge is equal to the mass of the boat. So you always have the same amount of mass on the bridge and thus the bridge does not feel any change in weight. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.